What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mole, and as you can see, we are back on Plunder Pirates. Guys, for those of you who haven't played this game before or even heard of it, just look at these graphics. This is this game got so many awards from the App Store for graphics and all that kind of stuff in 2014. Um, it is unreal. In the first couple days of launch, there was so much news about it. They actually flew me and Nick out to New York. Um, earlier this year to go hang out with them and whatnot. This game is unreal when it comes to graphics and gameplay and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not going to be replacing Clash at any rate, so if you're commenting that, just go ahead and stop. Let's just be positive here. Um, I like to play a lot of different games, and I picked this one up again the other day for the first time in a while, and it has been so good getting back into it. I've missed it so much. Um, we're going to go ahead and fight, though, and let's see what we can do. So um, let's go ahead and look through some of these bases. Now, generally, you can find bases with really good loot in Plunder Pirates. It isn't that hard to do. This one has a great amount. Um, and you know what? We're actually going to attack this one. So let's go ahead and um, we're going to split up our troops. And it looks like where are the most of his storages? He's kind of spread out his storages uh, around the base, but I think we're going to, let's just attack from down here at the bottom. We've got Juggernauts, um, two Witch Doctors, and a bunch of Gunners. The Juggernauts are like the tanks, uh, and the funny thing about Juggernauts is what they actually do is they go in, and they have a ridiculous amount of damage and health, but they also, uh, they also go in and get rid of traps, which is really cool. So we're going to drop off Witch Doctors on either side, and then we're going to spread out our Gunners as well, all out here in the ocean. And the cool thing about these troops, guys, is they actually have abilities. You can see that little red uh, or pinkish eyeball up above the Gunners, guys. And that means once we get on the beach, we hit them, and you can see as you zoom in that they actually uh, get an ability where they shoot faster, they travel faster, they do more damage. We've got our Juggernauts up in here running around, and you might see some of them... Uh, head to some traps depending on if this guy has any of them active. You can see those right there. They just headed right in there. They took out that trap for me. There go those other two. They're taking out that trap and taking out that damage for me. Our witch chargers are doing, a, are doing a good job staying with them right now as we work our way around the base. I do want to get as much gold as possible. Um, you can see we've got a whole bunch of gunners. It looks like the majority of our troops went around the left side, which I'm not mad about because that other gold storage is right up there. And once again, guys, our ability has finished its cooldown so our gunners are going to go in and do a lot of damage on this base you can see up here again uh, what is going on and guys look at this you can turn around and watch them as they attack we're getting so much of this loot on this base it's freaking awesome and I'm going to show you guys something in just a little bit that for those of you who haven't seen the game is going to blow your mind when it comes to um, reviewing or replaying your attacks so we're actually doing a really, really good job right now. We've got most of our Juggernauts up. They have taken a lot of damage, though. Um, but we've got two, one Juggernaut over there, and then we've got one more up here at the top. Our cooldown for our Gunners is almost up. It's going to be clutch right here. They're going to take out that cannon. We've gotten all of the gold, and we are about to get over here to this last Grog storage and take it out, guys. We just absolutely annihilated that base. It looks like he might have... He doesn't have any buildings anywhere else, so we're going to go ahead... Take out his ship right here. Again, look at this. I'm scrolling around as it's live and active um, and watching the troops attack. So we already got all the loot. We're going to go ahead and try and get three stars out of this raid, guys, um, and watch them as they take down the ship and then that last guild hall right behind it. Um, but this game is so cool. The graphics are amazing. The gameplay is fun. They've got a lot of amazing things coming up in the near future. We're about to take out, we're about to clutch that. I'm going to use that ability at the last second and get that 100% on there. Look at them. They're rejoicing. They're so happy. <laughs> but um, there's so many new things coming out with this game that I'm super excited about that we get to uh, share with you guys and see. And I, I just can't wait. I just can't wait because when I met with these guys and I talked to them about their plans and all that kind of stuff, it's just, it's exciting. It is exciting stuff. But as you can see, I am upgrading my tavern right my tavern right now. Uh, it's kind of like an army camp or a barrack in Clash of Clans. And um, once it's upgraded, I'll be able to hold more troops. There's only one of them, but we can go in here while it's upgrading and actually recruit more. Um, we do, however, have some uh, buccaneers out on the ocean right now, traveling around the map, finishing it up. It looks like they're going to be done in 31 minutes. You can see that little timer up in the top right. But we can already see what we've done. We've taken out some ships in the ocean. There's all these different characters. Here's a little Kraken right here uh, that we can take out. Here's ships. 
What is this thing? Here's a big fish. <laughs> and um, we're gonna go ahead and head back though, and I'm gonna show you guys some of the coolest things about this game. So we don't have any builders available right now, but we've got a whole bunch of loot, and we need to upgrade some stuff. Uh, because I am moving on up in this and I'm super super stoked about it But we're not gonna train up any troops right now because um, our other uh, Buccaneers that are out plundering are gonna be back in 30 minutes like I said and it takes about 45 minutes to train up an army um, So when they come back they'll actually replace it But what we've got building right here is a pirate catcher and if we go to details on that as you upgrade it it, uh, it it's kind of like a boot it's kind of like boosting your tavern so it'll train them up faster uh, so that's awesome that that is there but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some sweet stuff so over here we can go and we can look at our attack and defense log so um, let's go ahead and watch a different attack that we're gonna click on details and we're gonna replay this thing and watch this alright so once they get up in here we'll go ahead and fast forward into uh, the the goodness of the fight when they really get going after it. you can see I've got that same army comp going on down here and I'm dropping all these guys off up here but watch this when I hit this little camera look what happens it zooms in guys and we can watch the whole replay and like a cinematic movie style thing look at that juggernaut right there going after it and the gunners it switches around it shows you all these different angles and it just makes the gameplay and like the oh no <laughs> it makes the gameplay and the reviewing of it just so much more epic I mean look at these guys it's just so cool that you can get in here. Look at this epic shot. They're coming in. They're taking everything out. The gunners are going to town. The juggernauts are going to town. This lonely little... Look, he's getting hit by the cannon and the mortars. You can see how cool and just like fun the graphics are. Um, they take out the buildings. They're working their way around. I am super, super excited to be playing this again. I honestly am. You guys can probably tell in my voice. Uh, but let's go ahead and review that last attack. And I want to see what it looks like at the end um, in that cinematic view as they defeat everything. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through all of this. Can we watch it? <laughs> Look, at <laughs> Look, you can watch it at a fast forwarded rate. That's so awesome. That's so pretty. Look at that. That's so epic. Look at that. Boom, boom, ba da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum 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 da da dum 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 I mean, it's so cool that they're just coming in here like that. You can watch it like a movie after your replay. You can share it with people, and instead of just watching it like this, like, look how boring this is now after seeing what I just showed you. I mean, you can see it. It's flat. You can still scroll around, and you can zoom in, and you can do all this stuff, which automatically makes it so much cooler. Um, but we can jump back in here, guys, and just watch it like this, and it honestly is just... I mean, it's, it's amazing. It really, really is amazing, the graphics and the work and the bandwidth that this thing can hold. The fact that you can watch all of this live action at these frames per second. It's ridiculous. So we're fast-forwarding on. We're heading over here. We're taking everything out. We're going super, super quick. Um, and we are about to, what percentage are we at? So we're at 81%. Let's go ahead and fast-forward until we get, like, to 90-something. So here they go. They're heading over to take out the boat. Uh, and it's going to scroll around. You can see that witch doctor healing them up and those gunners swimming on top of each other as they head over there. It's showing uh, the complete carnage that has happened to the base so far. Here they go. They're taking that out. And uh, once they take out that boat, they are going to jump on that guild hall and just crush it. But I mean, look at that. I love the smoke, the flatness of it, and just all the design. And then here we go. We're going to see them celebrate for a second and then it's going to take us back home, guys. Um, if y'all want to download it, again, it's Plunder Pirates. Make sure that y'all check it out. It is really, really cool. I'm going to go into more depth as to uh, what the buildings are and all these things. You're probably looking at this mortar like, what is that? Well, that's a mystic mortar, and it's a freaking beast. So I can't wait to go through all this stuff with you guys. I'm super, super excited about it. Make sure that you leave a like on the video for everything that you just saw, for the graphics, for the frame rate, for all that kind of stuff, because it's just crazy. I'm going to collect my grog and my gold real quick, and we are going to head out. But guys, again, this game is amazing, and it's all about graphics. You're not going to play a game that you don't that doesn't look good, and that's why I'm playing this. So um, make sure you all leave a like on this if you want to see more of this. Honestly, let's try and hit like 2,000 likes for those graphics in this game, because I think that we can do it, guys. I honestly do. Um, it's not going to be replacing Clash or anything. We're just going to be playing it at the same time. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below if you still play. I am in a guild. It is called Marooned. You guys can look it out. We're not full, but you can try and find it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and I guess plunder on in this case, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.